good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. Dion Foss. I am a senior lecturer at the Northwest University in South Africa. And I'm one of the authors of the book BRICS Education, A New Dawn, that was published in 2020 at IOSIS. The main reason for our research and the writing of the book was to answer the following question. Are the educational objectives of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa in correlation with the educational objectives of the BRICS organization? In order to answer this question, we have to look at the general BRICS education, educational aim that actually are focused on the development and growth of the economy. And it states, in general, the BRICS organization have realized that there can be no economic development or growth in a country without an educational system that successfully meets the requirements of the particular country's economical needs. Therefore, in the book, we had to write about all the educational aims of the five member states to make sure that they meet the requirements of the BRICS edu uh, organization uh, education aims. And we're going to start with Brazil. You will see in Brazil, um, all the aims also are focused on the development of the e economy of the, uh, the member state. Firstly, they want to see the expansion of private schools. They want to have a better learner ratio. They want to also have education for all learners according to the learners' needs. And they want to have equal opportunities and equal education in order for the reduction of unemployment, minimizing of po poverty and social justice and health and public safety for all. They also would like to have expansion of vocational education and training in order to have low skill workers developed for a better labor force and to help scare skills and the minimizing of dropout of learners. Also, they want to see that educators get better salaries and better in-service training programs. They believe better incentives or better salaries will attract better educators that can deliver a better education quality and also have better performance. Like in the other member states, they also would like to see full day schooling and they must be sensitive towards teaching time to increase quality education and to have better results. Our next country is Russia. Also, they want the expansion of private schools and a unified and inflexible curriculum. They also want to see the enhancement of English, not only in their schools, but also in the business sector. They, through uh, training programs, they want to reduce informal employment and to have a better labor skill. But, uh, through vocational training, also the reducement of informal employment. And they want to introduce, like they already did, extracurricular activities. In India, you will also find in their educational aims, they also are focused on economic growth. Uh, programs for economic growth is through entrepreneurship programs. And the advantages for economic growth in India are that the young, they've got a, a relative young labor force, they've got highly skilled people in technology, and also the enhancement of English. They also are busy with building and upgrading of the infrastructure of the schools like libraries, science laboratories, computer centers, etc. Our fourth country, China, they want to move from a central plan to a more market based economy. And therefore, they want to have economic growth and also social development. They want to enhance better social services and environmental and social imbalances to be uh, prepared for and to better that also. Uh, the reduction of pollution energy efficiency, the expansion of education, healthcare and social protection. 
And also like in the case of South Africa and also other countries, they want to see the respect for social diversity and they want to draw attention on the disadvantaged learners and the efficient distribution of resources in the education sector. Our last country, South Africa, they make use of transformation programs that include accumulation of knowledge of teachers, the enhancement of critical thinking and problem solving skills for learners and for educators, and also the expansion of expenditure on poor and disadvantaged children. These programs include the quality of learning and teaching program and campaign, the integrated quality management system, whole school evaluation, and also they make use of unions and the subject advisory services. Ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, you will see all these educational aims of this five member states, like I said previously, are focused on the development of the economy. Therefore, for the improvement of lifestyle, there must be social economic development through the quality of education and training. We want to see better working conditions for teachers and a better remuneration. However, there are some concerns in all the countries, like for instance, the social status of teachers, the attractiveness of the profession and the quality of teachers. Thank you.